Hello, what's pop? And I'm here on Showdown, back home in the OU tier. After that Ubers video I did, enjoy switching it up, and I can definitely do it again too. Maybe more Ubers or UU at some point if y'all want. But today's team is going to feature a move I've not done a video with yet. And I've been obsessed with this move ever since it came out, and that move is Burning Jealousy. Now, before we get into the video, I'd like for y'all to leave a comment and tell me a move you think is pretty cool but does not see a lot of usage. I'd like to know some obscure ones like Burning Jealousy, for example, even if it's bad and there are like superior options for that type of move. Or uh, just leave a comment to support, either way, it means a lot. And if you haven't yet subscribed and would like to do so, it would be very much appreciated on our journey to 100k. Now take a look at this set here, we have Power Herb Meteor Beam Cursula. So this Pokemon is able to boost its special attack, it's already base 145, Meteor Beam powers it up even more. And it's able to break through some kind of switches, like maybe Mandibuzz for instance, could be one Pokemon that it can destroy. I've seen a lot of uh, Volcarona try to set up on this thing and then get o code by Meteor Beam, so that's really cool as well. And I'm actually running four coverage moves, no stab Shadow Ball at all on this Pokemon, just four coverage moves here. Ice Beam hits up Garchomp, Lando T, and stuff like that, and also Hydreigon as well. I actually posted a screenshot on my Twitter of a guy who's like, oh, Cursula sucks, and then got destroyed. <laughs> um, Earth Power, hitting up Heatran and Melmetal and stuff. And of course, you already know, Burning Jealousy here, Burning Jealousy hitting up Ferrothorn. I'm excited about this move here because it can actually destroy Ferrothorn after a Meteor Beam or... Um, Easily to it KO that Pokemon. Oko Scizor, able to also hit Weavile and stuff like that too for a lot of damage. And I like this set a lot. It's really powerful. It also can tank certain hits, like for instance, this 176 HP, able to survive an Earthquake from Defensive Lando T, which is pretty useful, I would say. Um, 16 Spidef is what you'd expect it to do, hit 300. And then the rest is speed, so that we can at least outrun like Toxapex and stuff, and Pokemon that set themselves to be a little faster than Toxapex. And we have weak armor as well, so if Pokemon try to U-turn, I've seen a lot of Pokemon try to U-turn out on this thing. We get a weak armor boost, which, I mean, the speed's not that great, but at like times 2 or something, it can still outrun more Pokemon than it could before, so at least that's good. And we have Keldeo here for uh, Calm Mind purposes, you already know. Uh, I think it's great with Cursula because of Dark-type Pokemon. Dark-type Pokemon like to switch into this thing. Keldeo is a Dark-type destroyer, so we have that um, for the purpose of helping out Cursula. Defog on Corviknight with Shed Shell, so that we can avoid getting trapped by Magnezone. And then Lando T with Rocks, more Spideff so that we can handle certain special attackers like Volcarona for instance, if our Meteor Beam is already used up. Uh, Slowking, which is there for the purpose of Future Sight, so that we can just spam Future Sight versus all kinds of Pokemon. Pressure with Keldeo and Cursula. And finally, a Grimmsnarl, which is bulk up 3 attacks. I brought this on my Hitmontop video, and I like this, I like this a lot, I refined it a bit too. Black Glasses, 84 Attack Sucker Punch, Oko's Dragapult. Before I was not able to Oko Dragapult unless I had prior chip or a bulk up, but this is actually able to Oko it, so that's nice. And it still keeps the same bulk that it had before. And that is going to be the squad. Let's go ahead and hop into our first game, see how we do with the team, and try to make Cur uh, Cursula put in the work. It's a really fun Pokemon to use, and I really think that it's one of the best Pokemon that can run Burning Jealousy because... Well, it's the only fire coverage move that it has for attacking purposes. So that's really good versus things like Ferrothorn. Here, I don't know if we'll see it in play. Don't see the right matchup. But Cursula itself looks to be pretty good. I might just lead with it here. This leads Heatran. So turn one, I'm going to go for the Earth Power. I think that seems like a pretty good play. So let's see how much this does. This just does a ton. Not bad at all. I'm going to Meteor Beam here. Get a plus one Spatak boost. And then I think I'm just going to... Probably Ice Beam. I feel like I, I should Ice Beam on like the Landorus. Yeah. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. <laughs> Yo, we got it. You see that? You see that play right there? Cursula almost already knocking out the Heatran, forcing it out. That is pretty good. So I don't know what this is going to do. I feel like my better play is probably going Slow King. He does Psy Shock though. So let's... I think that's choice specs as well. So I'm gonna go Grimmsnarl here. I could also go Corviknight. Let's go Grimmsnarl as Clefable comes in. And then back to Sloking for regeneration of this Pokemon. I'm going to now, I think drop a Future Sight here is the play. If he wants to go Heatran, he can, but I think we're okay. Teleport, right? So there's the Teleport into Zero Aura. Into Landorus we go now. So pretty easy switch to Landers here. Go ahead and U-turn out into. We should go. Uh, we should go. Maybe Cursula and 
finish the job real quick. Just finish the job. <laughs> oh, the future side did it for us. I forgot. You got a future side lined up. So this is pretty good. Now he brings in Rashifu Rapid Strike, claiming to be Scarf. I don't know if I'll fall for that one. So I could go Corviknight, or I could just sack this thing. I think at this point in time, Cursula has done what it can do. It knocked out Landorus and knocked out basically most of Heatran. So I'm going to Earth Power here. Let him Surging Strikes. Looks to be a bandit, I would say. So what we want to do now is we want to go into Keldeo, I think. Let's see here, actually. Corviknight's not a bad option either. I might just do this and then click Brave Bird. Should be the play as Clef comes in. Not bad. I think I just uh, Brave Bird again. Get some more damage. So he teleports out. So now this thing is at about 50 some percent. Pretty good. Urshifu's back. Let's go ahead and roost here. See what he wants to lock himself into. If it's Surging Strikes or what. So he actually U-turns here. Pretty sure this is Bandit. I'm pretty sure. I think he doubles here, but... Yeah, he does. I'm going uh, Keldeo now to take this hit. And then I uh, Secret Sword here, I think, is my play. Or I could Scald too, but this works just fine because I get to go into Slow King and get off a of Future Side. If he wants to heal, he can. So he actually wishes here. Yeah, he's going to wish he never did that. I'm going to click Future Sight right now. Line it up. Yeah, go ahead and protect. Sludge Bomb here is pretty free as well. So he teleports out. So this is going to take the Future Sight on the next turn. I think here all I got to do is just... So he might trick. I want to keep Grimmsnarl around. It's going to be a good late game, I think. Corviknight at full health is good. Landorus. I might go Landorus here. So he side shocks, okay. So I thought he might trick there, so I didn't want to go like right into it. So yeah, Grimstall is back now. Now what we do here, go ahead and knock out a Pokemon real quick. Ooh, actually I'm going to bulk up here. Because he's going to sack this thing anyways, right? So we can now get, get a free bulk up. And so at this point in time, so I don't think a Surging Strikes knocks us out, so I can Spirit Break this thing. So let's see how much this does. Yeah, it should knock us out. Nice, nice, nice. Gone. So that's just what I wanted to see. Big threat out of the way. Zero Aura is in now. So all we got to do here is, I believe, Sack Keldia, which we don't need anymore. Let him close combat us. That's fine. We can go Landers here. So I don't believe a knockoff knocks us out here. I, th I could just U-turn. I think U-turns the play. So I didn't want an Earthquake there just in case he went Lottie. So now the damage on this means that Grimmsnarl can take it out with the Sucker Punch. Which is quite, quite nice. He's also intimidated, which means I can just go Slow King right now actually and make him think I don't have Sucker Punch. Go after the Sludge Bomb here. Yep, so knock this out. Last is going to be Lottie. So we sack Landorus. Yeah, sack Landorus here I think is the play. And if he decides to trick then it's over. Yeah, it's basically over because we heal up Slowking. We're able to knock it out with the combination of Sucker Punch. If Sucker Punch doesn't take it out then Slowking lives a hit, Corviknight lives a hit. So we're, we're pretty good in that scenario. Very nice, but I'm just so happy about the play we made there in, in like the very beginning of the game where we Earth Power <laughs> into uh, what a Meteor Beam or something and then Ice Beam, the lander slot, and it was absolutely gone after that. Uh, that was just so nice to see. Those sequence of plays. Um, Curse is just a fun Pokemon. I'm hoping that we get some Burning Jealousy games though where we can actually click it. I've actually been able to do that while testing, and I've been testing this team quite a bit. So it's been putting in the work for sure, for sure. Let's see where is this game at. For the next one here. Oh, it's a Trick Room team. Ah, I see. <laughs> I see. So it's going to be a Hattering lead, most likely. Usually with these kinds of teams, I lead with Slowking against Trick Room. Because I Sludge Bomb turn 1 versus the Hattering, and then Future Sight turn 2. 
So it's actually going to be Crest lead though. Okay, interesting. So in this case, what I want to do is Sludge Bomb turn one and then Future Sight here. Should be the play. As Mel Metal comes in, yep, yep. Let's go into probably Corviknight. Corviknight or Lander. I think Corviknight here is fine. As he double Iron Bashes, that's good. And Flinch is bad. He takes the Future Side though, which is pretty good. So we go Landris here, get the Rocky Helmet, and then I think just U-Turn out is the play. Oh, but he stays in. Ready to do it again. Unfortunate, unfortunate. However, I think that Keldeo can be really good in the end as a win con. So I'm going to sack Corviknight. We go Keldeo now. And I think we just... uh. Probably Scald here. I don't. I think he might have Mental Hurt, but I'm going to taunt anyways. I think it's still the play. And then what do we do here? He's going to Healing Wish his Mel Metal. So we're going to Calm Mind up. So that should be fine. Yeah, Mel Metal comes in. Figured as much. Let's Intimidate this thing. See what he wants to lock himself into. So you know me, I can I can overcome versus Trick Room. I can overcome always, always. We have the we have the Pokemon for it. So we double Iron Bashes. It's fine. Into Keldeo we go once again. Let's just uh, I think Scald here. So yeah, he just double Iron Bashes again. That that actually hurts a lot. That hurts a lot. Okay, so that that's fine. We should actually be faster than this Pokemon. So I'm going to just Flamethrower here. Porygon comes out. Future Sight is the play. And then Sludge Bomb here. So it teleports out. Into Melmetal once again. So this uh, Future Sight damage will be great for Grimmsnarl to come in now. And I think just fire off a good old Sucker Punch here to knock it out. So that Pokemon's gone. And then in comes Hatterene. So versus Hatterene, what do we do? We go into Cursula here, I think is the play. So he actually resets the Trick Room here. Let's go ahead and Meteor Beam this thing. Get it nice and weakened. And then... I think we just, uh, hmm, what do we do, what do we do? I think we sack Keldeo, because Grimmsnarl, because we need this thing at full HP to take a hit from Torkoal. Yeah, we need it to take a hit from Torkoal. So that's exactly what we're going to do. He actually goes Marowak here. So I want to Earth Power this thing. He can't Poltergeist me, by the way, just so you know, because my item is gone. So let's see if he actually falls for that. Cause I think we I think we could win this game. I think we can. Maybe if we bulk up enough times. So I'm very curious to see what he does here. So yeah, he'll just flare blitz. We go Grimstrahl now, bulk up here. To take this hit. As he flare blitzes. Nice, nice. Sucker Punch, here's the play, I think. So we get rid of that Pokemon. Now I just gotta beat a Torkoal. So I think here I just, uh... Bulk up. Darkest Larry at this. Oh, so it's only foul play. Ooh. <laughs> this might be pretty good. So I bulk up once more. And then I have to Sucker Punch here. I think that's the play. That's gone. Last Pokemon is going to be Torkoal. And we Darkest Lariat here, hoping it knocks it out. And it does. Nice. Good game. So we overcame versus the Trick Room squad in this one. That's what I like to see. And... Yeah, that was nice. That was nice. You already know. Yeah, I was close this time. I was close to losing the Trick Room this time. But once again, I, uh, <laughs> I prove once again that never bring Trick Room to the Trick House. That's for sure.
continuing on. Excellent. So this guy has a team where Burning Jealousy might be interesting, maybe. We'll see. Kind of just want to lead with Cursilla here. Go right for the Meteor Beam. So if he U-turns out, right, he gives us the speed boost. Should put us faster than T-Tar, I believe. So we Meteor Beam this, followed by an Earth Power should be the play. Hit this up for some good damage. Ooh, that is fantastic damage. I hope I'm faster. So he actually goes Corviknight. Burning Jealousy! Ooh! <laughs> yes! Oh, and he gives me another speed boost too. Hold up, this is pretty good. 336, but I'm still slower than this thing. Go Landris, and then just click U-turn. As Corviknight comes back. I'm not faster with the uh, Corsal anymore, but we hit the Burning Jealousy though. Ooh, that, that is too good. That is too good. Scald this thing is the play. And that's gone. And that's GG. <laughs> Yo, what a quick forfeit. What a quick forfeit right there to the Burning Jealousy Cors uh, Cursula. That's just fantastic. This is the game I wanted to show you all. Like right here, you know, just a just a nice clean Burning Jealousy. And so like you, you notice how he forfeit right after Corviknight went down. So you could say that it's because of Burning Jealousy that that it happened in the first place. <laughs> ah, not bad. Turning out to be a pretty fun Cursula video. Hope you all are enjoying it. Only uh, just a few games in now, so we can continue on, get some more solid ones. But nice. Very nice. So yeah, I I'm thinking about like when, once the um, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl stuff comes out, I think the metagame for that is going to be on Showdown. Should be pretty fun. Might play some of that. Um, the oh, I, I faced this guy while testing. I was able to destroy him. I don't know if it'll be the same this time. <laughs> we'll see. So this Necrozma I think is like rocks or something. Grimmsnarl looks amazing in this match I would say. Quite amazing. I feel like just leading off perhaps with... I mean Cursal is not a bad lead. Neither is Grimmsnarl. I'm gonna lead Grimmsnarl. Go right for the uh, Darkest Lariat. And then Sucker Punch here is my play. And that's gone. So one Pokemon already gone. That is pretty good. Sharpedo comes in here. So all I want to do versus this is just... I guess I could go Corviknight as he waterfalls. Kind of does a lot. Maybe I can... Uh... Well, maybe I don't even need to defog. Maybe I don't need Hazard's Gun. Maybe I just need to body press it and knock this thing out. Because this Pokemon is a speed boosting threat. And I want it gone. Even if Keldeo might resist both of his stabs. He could have Psychic Fangs, you never know. So Nidoking's in here. Let him knock me out, that's fine. We go into... We could go Cursula here, um, that's an option. Cursula and, and maybe like Ice Beam or something could work. Or Earth Power is another option, because it hits everything anyways. So doing a lot of damage there. Just what we need. Just what we need. That's fine. I will take that gladly. Go Keldeo here and Scald. And that Pokemon is gone. Who's next? Who's next? Alakazam. That's a threat. So we're going to go uh, Sloking first. And I think just click Flamethrower here. In case he went Frostlash or something. Which if I remember correctly when I did test versus him was like Choice Bend. So we got to watch out for that. So expanding for Shadow Ball, I think I just go, I think I sack this thing and go into Landers and then, yeah, Landers here. I think U-turn out's the play into Keldeo. As Frostlass comes in. So immediately what I think we do is we go Landers here as he's Poltergeist and he's locked in now. So we go Grimmsnarl, Darkest Lariat. Victini is going to be dead now, I think. So he goes back to Frostlass. Not sure why. I think I just lariat this thing. Yeah, that's gone. That is gone. Excellent. So he has to attack me. And he can't knock me out with Bolt Strike, so Keldeo can win the game. Yep, good game. Good game. Nice. So won this one as well. This is a pretty good one. Pretty solid team overall. Putting in the work versus all kinds of squads. 
And the good thing is that Cursula is actually doing something in every game, which is what I like to see. So I've already done a Cursula showcase before, I think, at the beginning of this generation, I've done one. But I, I think this was, that was before Meteor Beam was even released into the game. Pretty sure. And same for Burning Jealousy. So Torkoal lead. I don't know if he's going to stay in or not. He actually switches, which is a good play on his part. I think I'm going to Meteor Beam again. I wish I could have just knocked out the Torkoal in one hit. That would have been kind of clean. But unfortunately, not the case. Still can save Cursula. Could be pretty useful later on. That would have been a uh, pretty crazy turn one there. So Torkoal comes in now, actually. I'm not sure why. Because I'm just going to weaken it. And now a future tech's going to come out here. We go into Corviknight so that we can defog. And Charizard's here. So this thing is going to be a threat, but not anymore because Sun is gone. So I can just go Slow King and drop a Future Sight here. Go right into Keldeo. To put a little pressure on him. And so Future Sight's coming out now. All we got to do here is just click Scald. Scald versus this. Scale Shot Miss. Does not matter too much, I think, because it guarantee lives anyways. So now Torkoal's back. You already know what I'm about to do here. Right into Slow King on the Venusaur. You already know. Um, future Sight, or not Future Sight, I think Flamethrower is the play. Just to try to knock this thing out immediately. And we do almost. Okay, almost. That's fine. Future Sight here. So now Charizard is actually going to be really, really powerful. And I got to watch out for that. So what do we do? Keldeo, I think is actually pretty good to, to keep around. Corviknight is a Pokemon that... May not be as useful as I think it will be, but I think versus the Blissey is pretty useful. Maybe we don't need a Landorus. I think Grimmsnarl is pretty good. I want to keep Cursula just because it's Cursula. So let's go Landorus here. So he does Weather Ball. Knocks me out. And then in comes Keldeo. And I think we can just Scald here. Just try to knock this thing out or chip, put it in like range of chip or something. That does a lot. <laughs> that does a ton of damage. And... um so Zatu comes out now. We have a Grimmsnarl we can go right into, I think is the play. Heatwave critical hits. Oh, oh my. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> so he toxics here. This should hurt. Yeah, this is a lot. I'm going to Sucker Punch here and knock it out. Yep, that works. So we got rid of Zatu. Now we just have to win the game with Slowking plus, yeah, just like Sludge Bomb here, I think. We can definitely win this game, I think. So yeah, this is gone. Blissey, Venusaur. Yeah, we just Future Sight, line up Future Sight. Go into... Oh, Healing Wish. So then he's already lost. <laughs> he's already lost the game then. Uh, so good game. And I guess the Flamethrower was a roll the first time. That it did not knock it out. So good game. Good game, once again. Very nice. So because he had Blissey, uh, I guess maybe I should have saved the Meteor Beam for later. But a lot of people actually don't know what Cursula does. So I've taken a lot of opponents by surprise with it by just doing a turn one Meteor Beam. Nobody really knows what it does, but I guess, uh, you know, if you have a safe switch in, might as well go into it. So let's see, uh, let's see if we can get some more Burning Jealousy though. That would be quite, quite nice. I mean, we got a Burning Jealousy forfeit, so that's, that's something else right there. Here, what we do is I think we just go into, I think we just lead with, I don't know, maybe Slow King. Could work or yeah or we could lead yeah let's lead slow king he was bisharp so he got the right lead <laughs> not bad so by taking this knockoff and healing up we now ensure that plus two bisharp is a lot weaker significantly weaker i should say and he's gone <laughs> oh no oh no I feel like this opponent, I feel like I've had him in like some thumbnail text before. Or I've seen him like say something that I put in a thumbnail. I don't remember. It, the name kind of looks familiar. Anyways. Yeah, we just heal up and put in the work here. Yeah, Nido King's in. So I guess here what we do is... Hmm... 
probably go into Slow King. Could work. As he flamethrowers. I'm going to drop a Future Sight here. And he's gone again. <laughs> what is this guy doing? After every move that he doesn't make the right call. He just he leaves. Unless that's a way to distract me. Now he's back again. Alright, nice. So we got the Future Sight active. I assume this is probably like Dragon Dance Kirim or something. Actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to Earthquake. Yeah, on the Flamethrower, you already know, you already know. Nice. And then we go Landers here. Check this out, check this out. We go Landers here. Oh, but the Bisharp is back. I'm going to Earthquake because <laughs> I am faster. 250 speed right here. Got a little speed on that thing. So Ribambi is in. I'm just going to U-turn out here. I don't care if he stuns spores or anything. Breaking the thing's Sash is pretty good. Let me go Slow King and Sludge Bomb. And then fully regenerate. Or not fully, but further regenerate once again. Afterwards. So let's see what he brings in now. So in comes Nidoking once again. I'm going to just... Try to outplay the best I can. So I'm sure he probably has Ice Beam on this thing, right? Yeah, he does. He does. I'm going to go Corviknight here. Well, Corviknight's pretty useful, actually. I kind of need that Pokemon, don't I? For uh, Kartana. So I'm going to go back to Landers. So he does Ice Beam here. That's fine. I didn't need Landers, so that's why I did that. So the plan now is to... I could go Cursula here. And just Earth Power. I think that's a play I could make. Should be fine. Or Ice Beam here is actually an even better play. Because it hits up the uh, Garchomp slot. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Nice Garchomp gone. So in comes Kiram. What I want to do is Meteor Beam. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> Get the Meteor Beam off here. Gone. Nice, nice. Kartana is in. Let's just uh, Burning Jealousy this. Let him knock off. That's fine. We go into Corviknight. So I think the play is to weaken this thing enough such that Sucker Punch can take it out. And I think we'll have the game in the bag. So this is gone. Yes, perfect, perfect. Uh, Kelio can take a hit from full. Slowking can take a hit as well. Very nice. And he just Earth Powers there, so that's going to be game. Yep. And then last but not least, we can finish it up with a nice little Grim Snarl and win the game. So it's going to be GG. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So once again, putting in the work with uh, Cursula. So, I mean, Burning Jealousy not really coming into play here, but just to see, you know, the Meteor Beam, Ice Beam, the uh, those kind of moves is really nice. That's uh, it's very solid. Very solid overall. Came through in that game once again. Cool. So maybe we get like two or three more for this one. I think should be uh, should be pretty good. Nice uh, Cursula showcase. It's a really really fun Pokemon. You don't see it a lot. You don't you really don't see it a lot at all. But out of all the Burning Jealousy Pokemon there are, this is like the one that you'd want to use. <laughs> Other options, I mean, like you know, Flamethrower, Fire Blast, Lava Plume, all kinds of stuff like that. Far superior moves, I would say. But on this Pokemon, Burning Jealousy is the only move. As you can see, all these all these Corsolas are all they're all pretty jealous of the burning jealousy. Where's this game at? Okay, finally we got it. We got it. Burning jealousy here might be kind of interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna lead Corsola. A Corsola. I get the names mixed up a lot. Sometimes I call Corsola Corsola. You know the cool thing about Dragapult is I can Ice Beam this and knock it out, but I'm not going to. I know I live a hit too, but I'm gonna see if I can preserve Corsola. Might be kind of nice. I'm going to double here. Uh, I made the wrong double. But I think it's still not bad. So we can just roost now. As Garchomp comes in. Let's go into... I think Keldeo is a play that we could make here. Or... Yeah, let's go Keldeo. So this is just rocks. Your, your standard rocks. So he does that. Let's go for the Grimmsnarl switch. And then I think just Darkest Lariat here. Corviknight switch now. And then I could just Roost here or Defog. I'm going to Defog here on this thing. 
make a mad play defog on the bisharp and then and then what we do i think is just go into landorus as he shadow balls get some rocks up here just a defog in the end i guess <laughs> oh i i want to go cursula and then ice beam here that's what i'm gonna do so Aegislash slash comes in we freeze it though i could i could thaw him with burning jealousy <laughs> But now I won't, I'll thaw him right now. I'll thaw him right now. I'll thaw him. Burning Jealousy was clicked again. Not bad at all. This Pokemon is a threat though. This is a, a whole threat. I will probably want to knock this thing out right now. Oh, that, that mattered. I actually, uh, well, I guess the freeze that was there too, but it's still fine. It is fine. Dang, I just wanted, I just wanted Cursula to put in more work. That's all all I wanted. Rashif was in. He's gonna surging strikes here. Let's sack Landris. That's gonna be protective pads, which is good to know because now at this point in time, Corvin I guess to come in and probably just roost here. I could also, yeah, I think I'll roost. Or I body press. Uh, I think I'll roost just to keep myself healthy. He could go bishop if he wants to. Though I hope not. Garchomp. Okay, cool. This this is pretty good. I will take that. Defog here. And I can do it again. Don't really mind this thing getting burned, actually. Uh, I'll come back in later. So at this point, I want to Scald here, I think, is the play. And burn the Rillaboom. Nice, nice. That's what you love to see. He Swords Dances up. I'm going to Defog here. So we could still beat this 1v1. Yeah, that's gone. Dragapult's in. He's going to Shadow Ball here. What do we want to do? I think Sack this thing. And then we go into Grimmsnarl. Spirit Break is the play now. So we live the Shadow Ball, which is good. And I think we knock out the Bisharp. So we hit the Garchomp. Can't switch this thing back in on rocks, but rocks are gone now. So we can always Sucker Punch and stuff too. Play some mind games here and there. So Rashifu's in. Let's go into Slow King on the close combat. Or no, he U-turns out. Okay, that's fine. Bisharp is in. Let's go Keldeo. And Scald here. It's a pretty tough match, I would say. Pretty tough. Shadow Ball probably takes us out. We need to keep Keldeo around. Oof, this is tough. This is tough. So we have to sack here. I'm going to Future Sight. Mm, I guess Grimmsnarl now. And just Sucker Punch here. Have to Sucker Punch. Bisharp comes in. This is not too bad, I think. It's not too bad. Okay, so that's gone. Pretty good, pretty good. He'll win, he'll win the game in the end, though, I think. Unless we go... No, Keldeo can't live a... Can Keldeo live a close combat? They might be able to, actually. Let's see. Oh, he actually U-turns here. Okay, that's not too bad. No, I think he wins this game. I think he wins this game. Yeah, because we just Sucker Punch here. And then he wins with the Ur Ur Urshifu here. So good game, good game. Solid one. Very solid game. So with the freeze on Aegislash, Slash, um, that was pretty fortunate. Definitely fortunate for sure. Though I really do wish we did not get crit with that Shadow Ball from Dragapult. Because then, then uh, Cursal could have gone on a rampage. It would have just destroyed his team after that. Or we would have been able to win. Um, but I know we got fortunate in that one. His team was also pretty good like versus our team, I, I would say. Um, tough, tough matchup, especially after Grimmsnarl got weakened by Dragapult. I need a Dragapult gone, but imagine if Corsola did not get crit there and we got the fortune that we should have gotten, then, ooh, that would have been crazy. But I do, I do like getting fortune. Oh, I faced, I think I faced this person while testing and they were um, running a really obnoxious stall team. This one looks a bit more manageable, I'd say. Looks a bit more manageable. Burning Jealousy, I don't know if we can click that on anything, but we'll try. Depends on what he wants to lead with. Oh, they left. Nice. <laughs> okay. So it looks like they have returned just in time, just in the nick of time. They were literally about to time out and they joined. 
All right, we will uh, we will have to defeat them for that. So we'll bring in Slow King. Go ahead and Future Sight right here. I can see into the future. Dragon Pulse comes in. We go Grim Snarl now, and then we put a lot of pressure on something. I think unless he turns out into something else, what does he turn out into? Tapu Fini. So back to Slow King we go. Take a lot of damage there. Drop another Future Sight right now. Is the play. Is the play. So, yep. Pulse is back. Let's go Grim Snarl here. I like the Future Sight lineup a lot. Darkest Lariat now. Hit something up for some decent damage. Or we could bulk up here. I think I'll Darkest Lariat though. Hit the Heatran as much as we can. That's good damage for sure. Yeah, I like that. Into Keldeo we go now as Landers comes in and we get Scald here. They want to go back into Finny, that's fine, but Rillaboom comes in. We could burn this thing if we if we do, that's actually really good. And we do not. So into Landers we go. As he knocks off, we can U-turn out here. Corviknight's in. Maybe we go into Cursula here and Meteor Beam. I think we Meteor Beam first. Because if they decide to U-turn, which they do, we get the speed boost, right? So this is pretty good. Hit something up right now. It's going to be the, the Finny. Right? This is pretty good. Meteor Beam this. Hit it up right here. Gone. Okay, okay. Not bad at all. Rillaboom comes in. So he's going to definitely Grassy Glide here. Going to definitely 100% Grassy Glide. Or Knock Off. I mean, he's still faster, but... This works out pretty well. Let's double to Landris now. As Corviknight comes in, get some rocks up on this Pokemon. So we got the Meteor Beam, which is pretty good. Oh, he already defogged? Nice. <laughs> I got them back. I got them back up. Just what you like to see. So we got the Meteor Beam off, which is really good at least. Gonna U turn out here into Keldeo. As he sets up rocks himself, let's scald this thing now. Should be the move. Um, I think we taunt here and scald again. So now this Corviknight's pretty much gone, I would say. Hit the Dragapult up, nice. I don't want to go hard Grimmsnarl, so I'm going to. I'm going to go probably Landers instead. As he turns out, okay, interesting. Very interesting. So I guess Corviknight comes back in now. Oh, it's going to be Rillaboom. So I'll U-turn out here. Yeah, he'll knock off, get rid of me. He's Choice Bandit, I think. So what we do is... We go Keldeo. Click Scald here. Or even Calm Mind for that matter is pretty good. I'm going to Calm Mind up. Predicting Dragapult to come in. Oh, he brings in Heatran. So this is pretty good. I can now click Scald. Nice and safely. So that's gone. So Rillaboom is back. We're going to go Corviknight here. And the Grassy Glide comes out. So now that allows us to double into Cursula on the Corviknight. Yes. Yes, indeed. I could Earth Power here. Or I could... I think Earth Power... I'm going to Burning Jealousy. Just because, you know, Burning Jealousy is Burning Jealousy. <laughs> you already know. Um, I think I'm going to burn Jealousy again. I unfortunately do not have much times to use this. So I'm actually going to Earth Power here. But Landris comes in. Oof. Let's Ice Beam. Let's Ice Beam here. Please U-turn. Please U-turn. No! Ah. Okay, we clicked Burning Jealousy quite a few times at least. That would have been so clean. So yeah, Corviknight's gone. Put in the work right there. Let's now go into... I'm actually going to click... What is this? Landers at 95? I'm actually going to Secret Sword here. <laughs> Make the play. <laughs> Now this thing is dead. Ah, ha, good game. Good game, good game. It's not over yet, but let's see. I think I sack... Probably sack Corviknight here. Or I go Slowking. I think Slowking, maybe. Yeah, Shadow Balls is a lot. Let's go ahead and sack this Pokemon here. Go into Grim Snarl. I think I can Sucker Punch here. But Landers comes in. And if he wants to U-turn out again, he can. I need Grimmsnarl around. That's the thing that I do need the most. 
Yeah, because here's what we could do, right? We could bring in Corviknight. How do I win this game cleanly? Let's see. Yeah, we bring in Corviknight. Let him U-turn out here. Let him do that. I think I live a Shadow Ball from this range. So we can Brave Bird. I'm pretty sure I live a Shadow Ball. So we'll let him Shadow Ball. Yes, we live. Nice. So this should knock it out or... Oof, close. Almost puts it in range of getting knocked out here. So now, now all we do is we go Grimmsnarl. Do that and then we go Keldeo now. Because now Keldeo is essentially able to live. We can Scald here and knock it out. Yep, beautiful. And then Rillaboom goes down and then Dragapult goes down afterwards. So let's go ahead and just sack Keldeo. Finish this game off with none other than Grimmsnarl. And that's going to be GG. Good game, good game. GG. GG to you. GG to you, my friend. Good game. And that's going to be, I think, where we're going to end it off for this one. This was a pretty solid one. Got a lot of uh, pretty fire games overall. And clicked Burning Jealousy more than a few times, I, I would say. And that's all that matters. Um, Curse Law putting in the work is, is really nice to see, though. But like I said in the beginning of the video, let me know in the comments a move you think is pretty cool but does not see a lot of usage. I'd like to know, you know, some some random ones that uh, maybe I could feature in a video like Burning Jealousy. Like nobody's ever going to click Burning Jealousy or use Burning Jealousy on a Pokemon other than if they have to. <laughs> unlike me or unlike me if they want to. Nobody wants to, but people have to. But yeah, I look forward to hearing from you all as always. And I'll see you all on the next video. Peace.